Hey guys, welcome back. Well, just a short little video today. Shouldn't be too long. Very quick, simple. Something that most modelers and probably most crafters have a big problem with. Things like this. You have a jar at home full of all kinds of styrene, little pieces in the bottom, containers full of odds and ends and more little pieces. It's always a pain trying to find stuff. Things are falling out of the jar. You know, I've got little pieces everywhere, you know, kind of a pain in the butt. So today I'm going to build myself a little organizer, very cheap, so make sure you stay tuned. Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey guys, like I said, I'm going to build myself a small organizer because I'm tired of rooting through a jar like this and trying to find the right piece, everything else. You've got all kinds of small pieces inside. You know, you've got little buckets and trays all over the place that have, you know, cut up pieces of styrene. You know, you're searching through everything. I'm going to help myself by organizing this stuff out. Now, like I said, I'm going to do it as cheaply as possible. So that even you guys can go out and do this as cheaply as possible without having to spend all kinds of money uh, like these paint racks and everything else. You want to see how I built my paint rack? I'll leave a link up here in the corner. You can go check that out afterwards. So all I'm going to be using is a little bit of foam core board. You can get this at the dollar store. It's like a dollar twenty or something like that for like a four by three sheet I think it is so that's that's cheap now I'm sure all of you will have this stuff at home and if you don't I'm not sure exactly what you're doing but here we got toilet paper rolls we got lots of them I'm sure everybody's got them and if not you guys can easily get them so you're gonna need these things now depending on how you do it specifically for you this is just what I found that's gonna work for me right so you need a bunch of those now also you're going to need a bunch of paper towel rolls now i'm pretty sure most people have paper towel rolls or can get a hold of them from friends neighbors whichever right so you're going to need a bunch of these as well now where my wife works and where my stepson works they work at a uh, grocery store and stuff like that and they happen to have a different size of uh, rolls of uh, paper and stuff like that that they brought these ones home from me but you can make these out of the paper towel rolls just cut them a little shorter right it doesn't have to be anything sp specific and again your toilet paper rolls a little shorter yet now aside from this stuff <clears throat> all right I went to the dollar store and I picked up one of these now these here are just these little organizer trays. They come with these things. You cut them up. You just put them together, right? I think this one here comes out so that there's some wide ones that you can put in, right? There's wide ones you can put in across instead to make bigger compartments. So depending on what you want to do, again, this from the dollar store, the foam core from the dollar store, and your toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, things like that, it's maybe a total of $5 right very cheap easy to make now something else you're going to need knife maybe a pen and a hot glue gun your hot glue gun sticks glue gun and the glue sticks both came from the dollar store again very cheap now if you got this stuff obviously this doesn't come from the dollar store but the whole point of this is to make it cheap to organize the expensive stuff so let's get to it. Okay, guys. So you're gonna take a, a chunk of your styrofoam board, all right? Three inches wide, and you're gonna cut it three inches long. Okay. So once you've got a three by three square, what you can do is you're gonna take it, 
and you're going to cut it diagonal, right? Try to make sure that it's as 90 degrees possible. Now what we're going to do with these, we're going to take this container and we're going to hot glue them on the side because there's a bit of a lip right here. Now depending on the container you got, you might have to change up exactly what I'm doing here to fit your needs. And then you're going to line this up so that the whole edge touches all the way across. And we're just going to hot glue that on. Okay. Now, if you want, you could also just take this lid completely off. I want to use it as a backer. And that's just going to help support any extra weight that might try to cause it to fall over. Now I'm going to reinforce this a little bit. I'm going to throw a little extra glue along this edge and a little bit on this edge. Okay, now that you got that, look at that. Make sure it's dry before you go moving it around too much. Now, once that's cool and it's hard, we're going to do the other one. Okay, so now that that's done, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is figure out how many of these tubes I need to go all the way across. Then what we're going to do is we're going to glue them all together. All right, once they're all glued together, then we can put glue down in the bottom. And then from there, we just glue it all in. We'll do that for the next level and the next level. Now, these ones here, they do come out. So I'm going to hot glue these in as well. Along with this one, maybe. There we go. So I'll hot glue this one in, all right? And I'll glue these ones in because these ones don't come out. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to get to glue in the tubes. got these all the glued together all right i'm going to set these ones aside you're going to do the same with the shorter ones and then again the same with the smaller ones so i'm going to get these done and i'll be right back to show you okay so here we go we have the small ones done now i still have to de-string them but that's easy enough to do now again i went eight wide because that's what fits in the container that I have. Now, depending on the container you've got, you're going to have to change how many you've got. Now, I only went with three rows because I've got my super long ones, right? These ones here, these super long ones will still stick out. But as you use them, even if I cut these in half, they still be long enough, right? But as you use them, then you stick them down inside these ones. And when they get too small, they'll go in the square containers in the bottom or in the front. Now, I need a couple more of these ones to cut down to make this height. And I'll get that done at some point. This is here just to show you, uh, you know, what you can do with these things and give you an idea of what you could try to make for your own. So again, you got to get these little strings out of here. But this is the basics of it. Now, I'm also going to paint mine before I put it all together, just so that I can get paint down in the bottom. So, and again, you don't have to paint yours. You can do whatever you want. You can Mod Podge them, make them a little stiffer. For me, this is gonna be good enough. These are cheap enough that if I wreck them too much, I can always build another, all right? I'm just gonna put a couple dabs of glue in the bottom so that they don't come out every time you try to pull something out of it. 
it'll just hold them down. If they break, I rip it out, make a new one, pin it up, put it back in. Done simple, right? So let's get the plastic container up here so that I can glue in those front pieces and then we'll get to uh, doing some painting. All right, so like I said, this piece comes out. I've already glued on these here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue down in the little track that there is. Doesn't have to be very much, just enough to keep it there. I'm not even gonna worry about the sides because they're beveled and they'll lock in. Just like that. Now I'm gonna try not to make a mess because if I ever decide that I wanna take this apart and use this for something else, the hot glue is gonna pop off of this plastic with no problems whatsoever. So again, I'm just going to a uh, little dab in the bottom. Now, as you've seen, I've actually stepped up to the uh, bigger glue gun because my little one wasn't able to keep up with how fast I was going. Now, if you were doing this, you could make this in such a way that you could use the styrene sheets in here instead of like the rods and tubes and stuff like that, right? So if you wanted to redesign it, which I may later on, because I do have a whole bunch of styrene sheet up there that I kind of need to deal with. But again, if you were doing this with, for the styrene sheet, and you were going to put little thin pieces of styrene sheet in here like this. I mean, this is pretty thin. You'd want to glue all the way across at the bottom so that these can't transfer from side to side. So now that those are glued in, I'm just going to take this over to my spray booth. I'm going to spray it up. Um, I'm going to go black just to make sure it matches my countertop. Kind of blends in a little bit. Also, I've got a nice little chrome pen that I can write my sizes on the side of the tubes, which I'll show you in a bit. And that'll make things a lot easier to make it organized. Maybe someday I'll have to make another one as my styrene supply grows. You know, right now it's just a few round tubes and rods. Uh, I think I have a few little angles, things like that. Nothing major and a few square rods. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You know, maybe later on I might get into the angle and the strips and everything. But I figure with the styrene sh sheets, I can cut my own strip. So now I'm going to bring this over to the spray booth that I made. And I'm going to spray this up black. When I'm done that, I'll, bring, I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. And if you want to see how I built my spray booth, I'll leave a link up here in the, in the corner and I'll also leave it down in the description. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I've got everything all painted up here. Now, yes, there is too short on this one here, but once I get some more of these uh, paper towel rolls, I can cut them, glue them on and give them another coat of paint or whichever. I can fill that in later. I painted inside the edge of the lip a little bit just so it looks a little better for when you're looking at it. Not a big deal. You don't even have to paint them if you don't want to. Now, something else you can do if you want to, you can go back to your dollar store. And I picked these up. This is just EVA foam, black. There's lots of different colors. The store that I went to, there was three for $1.25. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Okay. So it's very cheap. Now, if you want it, you can cut out little pieces or whatever. You can just flatten it out, make everything look a little nicer. You could try to contour it. This one here might be a little harder to contour from, so you don't crush the cardboard, but you can work at it if you wanted to. Again, same thing. These here, it's just felt, really thin felt, right? A lot more pliable, obviously. And again, I think this was, for a dollar and again you could just hot glue these on whatever you want now this stuff here would be a little easier to contour to the curves you can still use a black marker to mark what the sizes are you know and you can make things look a lot nicer if you wanted to it's all up to you you know I may do this later on maybe in a second uh, revision of it you know works out nice it would look good maybe three different colors whatever you want <clears throat> for now i'm just going to leave it like this so what i'm going to do is i got my hot glue gun going again back to the small one 
That's all I need. Move these out of the way. I'm not looking for anything, you know, super nice or anything. I just need an organizer. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a couple of dabs of hot glue on here somewhere. And I'm just going to slide it in. Put it together. All right. Now, if you want, you can, say, take another tube or something. And you could, say, squish it down. Put it in there to make sure that everything sits nice. Um, you could probably take uh, another piece of foam core board or something if you wanted to, and you could glue it on the sides, you know, whatever, anything you want, you know, maybe just a whole nother strip right across like so, you know, so that each one touches, all right, just a small strip, maybe an inch wide, go all the way across, design it the way you want it, what's going to work best for you. This here is just the way I'm going to do mine. So if you like what's going on so far and you like these little projects, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Maybe let me know if you've ever built anything like this and roughly what type of design you used, the materials you used. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified when I post videos like this and of course all my other videos. So let's get to gluing this together. Okay, guys, so I got everything glued in, fairly solid. I put a piece back here, as you can see. You know, I can go back and touch that up with the, uh, the spray paint that I used. And all I used was the uh, Premier Flat Black Primer. That's all I used. Nothing special. I mean, you can use any color you want. It does take a little longer to dry because this is paper, and it does soak in. But I just left it overnight. And perfectly dry, no problems whatsoever. And again, you can do this up any way you want. I'm just showing you the way I'm doing it that's going to suit my knee. So I'm going to let this fully cure. And then uh, I'm going to spray this black. And when everything's dry and I've got my stuff sorted out, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. So paint is dry. Started sorting uh, some of the styrene out. And I've come to realize that I don't have enough space. I have more sizes than I thought I did. So I'm going to have to end up making a whole nother one of these things. that would be for a future build. Probably won't show you that, but let me know down below. If you want to see me build another one, maybe I'll do a revision of it. Maybe a better style. But like I said, I've got more sizes than I thought I did. I do have some angle, I do have some strip. So I'm thinking what I need to do is make another one, maybe two of these. One just for straight tube, because I've got a bunch of tube. One for straight rods, maybe round and square, because I have some square stuff, a couple different sizes. Uh, you know, I've got the big and small square rod. Um, I've got some really tiny stuff that obviously I don't have enough space for. These are just straight rod. <clears throat> and then, of course, a whole bunch of other tube and strips and everything else. But this is the idea anyway. And, of course, i got the bottom side where I can put small pieces that obviously would get lost down in the bottom here. You know, from the different heights and everything as you go down, right? So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Let me know down in the description if you want to see me build the other ones. Um, maybe I'll make them slightly different. Uh, there's the balsa wood ones that I want to do. Uh, and I'm thinking of using just straight foam core board for them. Kind of the way I did for my uh, paint rack. Um, I still need something to hold all my sheet styrene. I have a lot of that. So i got to figure out a way to hold all that stuff. In a similar type of thing where I have small cutoffs, half sheets, full sheets, things like that. Balsa wood's the same thing. I've got dowels. I've got uh, 
different sizes of square balsa wood and I also have sheet balsa wood. So I have to make something that's going to accommodate that. For now, this is just going to sit off to the side until I look at building some more of these. Of course, I'll, I have to collect more of this, which is why I'm thinking of using the star, uh, foam core board from the dollar store. Again, very cheap and a hot glue gun knife, kind of the way I did the paint rack. So I'm going to leave it off here. So until next time, later.